CIG is finally revealing the interior of the RSI Polaris and uh, it's really exciting. I, I think uh, uh, this is one of the most anticipated ships and it's uh, uh, projected to be released at uh, this year's IAE. So we're going to um, get an interior um preview of what it's going to look like before we get started I'd like y'all to know that i'm doing a giveaway for the Morai pulse in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of june let's get into it we really want to have some form of the exterior of the polaris at invictus launch week we wanted to mix up the uh, capital ships on display this year being a big kind of military show it made perfect sense to be able to kind of show it off in its best light we pushed quite hard to get the exterior to a point where we're happy to show it publicly. This meant we've prioritized doing the exterior over the interior. So the exterior you see is pretty much final art. All it is missing is really the damage setup, uh, as I'm sure people have tried to do. It is currently invulnerable, or hopefully invulnerable in game. Visually, I think not only have we been trying to get it out so we can show it, but we've also tried to kind of really push the quality of the exteriors of some of our kind of like large capital ships. And what that has meant is that we needed to focus a few more artists than what we'd normally put on the exterior of a ship, just to make sure we kind of hit that quality bar and we hit it on time. It's pretty close to being LOD zero, which means that the majority of the main modeling's done. There's still a whole bunch of decal work, the finer details, what we call as POM details, pass needs to be done, and that really kind of helps to elevate the kind of like the close read. I think the the distance read and the mid reads are like brilliant. And to be fair, the, the close read when you get up and personal is looking really, really good. It's just we've still got that kind of like final sprinkle of, of, of polish to go on. With the focus on the exterior and pushing that as far as we could in the time we had, the interior is not quite as far along. It is more around the gray box stage. That's a lot of space, man. You have space for cargo as well as, these are larger cargo boxes too. Plus, so uh, you can also get some rovers in here as well. Polaris, man, it's, 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 it's a really exciting vehicle. The people we put on the exterior now will be moving on to the interior. Normally on a vehicle is we try to kind of keep the development stages in line throughout the kind of like the life cycle of its development. It means that the interior isn't, you know, it's not at the same level that the exterior is. We've been focusing on the core traversal areas of the ship. The majority of the rooms have now been worked up. I think there's maybe two or three rooms that are still in white box that still need you know, a, a decent amount of kind of modeling and, and uh, work doing to them. But the rest of the rooms now are kind of getting to the point where uh, we're pretty close to, to gray box. So the bridge, the main corridors, the hab area. That's a lot the of space. Cargo bay, torpedo rooms, and all the Pretty turrets. Anger. So these are a bit further along than some of the more secondary rooms like the brig and the medical bay. When you think of the Polaris, like its key points are the torpedoes. And I think that's been an area that has needed quite a lot of iteration on, and we're not quite there yet. One of the things that we're kind of really trying to make sure feels good from a player's point of view is the kind of like the loading of the torpedoes and seeing them kind of be from in your cargo hold to being in the kind of like loading mechanism and then being ready to fire. So on the kind of like lower deck and front half of the vehicle, we've got these big torpedo loaders and that's an area that it's needed quite a lot of iteration. That's pretty cool. The fact that um, I didn't think this will, will be how it would work where you will literally need a, um, a tractor beam to move them from your cargo over into the uh, torpedo tubes. That's actually a pretty cool uh, thing. I thought it was going to be a um, some something robotic on the inside that will be uh, doing this by itself. And all you'll probably be doing is probably be pushing buttons to get it to do it. But um, I like the idea where you need to literally move it yourself into the cargo uh into the into the uh torpedo tube so that will add to the gameplay experience especially uh, mid combat you have people in the bridge um handling the turrets and the ships and the missiles and then there will have to be a communication between um the bridge engineering as well as the torpedo room the guys in the torpedo room um you know uh, in terms of communicating whether the, the torpedoes are ready to be launched and, and, and getting them reloaded fast to, for your next launch is going to be pretty cool. Uh, it's going to really add uh, to the experience for real. Uh, very exciting stuff though. 
in the kind of like loading mechanism and then being ready to fire. So on the kind of like lower deck and front half of the vehicle, we've got these big torpedo loaders. And that's an area that it's needed quite a lot of iteration to make sure it, it feels right. And we are still in that process. It's not kind of fully signed off. We're not completely happy with that area, but it certainly kind of makes up the, the heart of the ship. Otherwise on the interior, the main upper deck is kind of really starting to come on. The engineering section is another kind of area that I think is really important in our capital ships and kind of getting to a level that we're happy with. From the kind of concept to the introduction, we have opened up the bridge of the ship a little bit. One of the things we wanted to do was when you kind of enter onto the bridge, this should feel kind of like super exciting, Man, super this, this rewarding. Is, this is one of the most beautiful views for ships in the game, man. Look at this. There's nothing obstructing the front here, which is pretty cool. So it looks like they uh, they did the same thing as the RSI uh, Scorpius here. That's pretty cool. To the player, if they manage to kind of get choice. one of these ships, you want it to feel like they are kind of really living that kind of military life dream. So we've spent a bit of time kind of opening it up, giving some nicer views as you kind of enter onto the bridge itself. What we really wanted to do was kind of make sure that the, the player views are good, the captain gets a great kind of view out the front and make sure that navigating around that area, especially as kind of more and more kind of multi-crew gameplay systems come online, we want to make sure that there's enough space on that bridge to have not just the captain and the pilot, but a, a whole crew there. Compared to the concept mesh, one not big change, but unresolved area was the hangar opening. It was just, it's quite a complex shape to open. So we spent a lot of time working on that, but that's all resolved. Scorpius. And then Scorpius another thing we are that's looking at awesome. in the future is actually doing some more upgoing awesome. of the turrets. So it is not just a uh, torpedo boat. It can sort of hold its own against other capital ships with its turrets. Right You'll see more of that as we get closer to releasing it which we are aiming for at IAE this year. So, what are we wearing this one? Man, it's really exciting. The RSI Polaris is one of the ships that I'm really excited about. Can't wait to see it in game. And um, it, it's going to be a great ship to ship, for them to ship off with Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, which is also projected to release around the same time. So it's gonna be really exciting to be able to go out there with your crew and survive with it. And, um, uh, taking into account engineering, gameplay, life support, and uh, all the new mechanics, fires, and all the new mechanics that they're going to be adding with that build is also going to be awesome. It's going to add to the level of immersion that CIGs has been um, aiming for. And I think the game is going to continue to develop in such a way that it's it's always going to be exciting for you to get back in and, and actually live in the verse instead of just playing the game. All right. You guys let me know your thoughts on the RSI Polaris down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.